Hi, my name is Eric Dowsett and I'd like to spend a few minutes talking to you today about the feeling of being overwhelmed. It seems to be quite a common feeling these days uh, with such busy lives that most people lead and seemingly fewer hours in the day to take care of all that needs taken care of. Um, there are various reasons that people feel overwhelmed, uh, the in inability to say no and, and mean it, and so you don't take on more than you can comfortably handle. Um, but, but from my point of view, from an ener energetic point of view, I think um, if we can understand the reason that this feeling develops in us, which of course is quite debilitating. I mean, once you're overwhelmed, you're not really able to do even the simplest of tasks. Effectively, you're just running around in circles, the body's in fight or flight mode, you want to run away and recover. And so, if we can go back to basics and look at an energetic point of, look at this from an energetic point of view, we can see that uh, there are things happening in the body that once we become aware of them, we can take the first step towards changing them. But uh, the challenge that most of us face is that any cause for our developing any feelings of being overwhelmed very often lies in the subconscious. And of course that means we're not conscious of it. We're not aware that of this is happening or why it's happening. We just suffer the consequences. If we can become aware of what's happening and why it's happening, then perhaps there's an opportunity to uh, reduce the intensity of the feeling of being overwhelmed. And of course, if you practice often enough the simple process I'm going to be talking about in a moment, then it's possible that the feeling of being overwhelmed will never rise in your life again. In the many years that I've been teaching energy work, working with people and the environment, I've come to understand that the body is very, very similar in lots of ways to a radio. Although the radio just receives information, this physical form that we have both receives and transmits information. The transmission has been measured, the electrical field around the heart and the brain are very strong. But the whole body is transmitting information all of the time. Uh, some people uh, refer to this as the aura and see the colours associated with different frequencies of energy that we are transmitting. Some people can just feel it. I think most people would have uh, experienced going into a room where there's just been a heated argument between two or more people. You can feel the tension in the air, uh, uh, the saying that you know, the air was so thick you could cut it with a knife. Well, that is a charge, a transmission that's being generated uh, in the environment and it just doesn't disappear immediately. It takes a little time to settle down. And so if you come into the room shortly after the argument, then you'll notice for yourselves exactly what I'm talking about. And so the body's picking up information and transmitting it. The radio picks up information, picks up radio waves, and then through the mechanism that is the radio, it translates that, those radio waves into sound, into sounds that we can recognise, that we listen to, music, uh, talk, people talking, uh, sports programs, etc. So we can pick up all sorts of information from the radio. The body is the same. It's picking up information from its total environment, whether that's the earth energies, whether it's the sun, whether it's the electrical fields that surround you, whether it's the people in your environment, family, friends, neighbours, work colleagues, etc. The body's picking up information all of the time. A lot of the time we don't notice it. Several reasons for that, and, and I think this is fundamental to you know why we get overwhelmed. Because we really haven't trained ourselves to notice what's going on in the body at any one time. We're too busy, we're always somewhere else. We're thinking of something else. The mind is somewhere else. We're in the future, we're in the past, and very rarely are we in the present to notice what's happening. And this is key, I think, to changing the, the debilitating effects that this feeling of overwhelm can have upon us, is to notice what's going on in the here and now. See, the radio will pick up information, but the information that the radio is picking up doesn't belong to the radio. The radio is just the device that's translating the information. Well, on a very simplistic level, I think the body is exactly the same. 
The physical body that we inhabit is picking up information from its environment. The process then involves uh, neurons firing, developing chemicals, creating chemicals, uh, neuropeptides. The neuropeptides become amino acids, amino acids flood through the body. And then the cells in the body, the individual cells in the body, will receive that information if they have a specific antenna for that specific frequency. And so what happens then, of course, is the cell allows the chemical into the cell. This generates in us what we call a feeling, whether that's a physical feeling or an emotion. So essentially it's just a chemical reaction that's going on. Now, unlike the radio, we tend to identify strongly with those feelings and those thoughts, those emotions, as being ours. They belong to us. And of course, what happens when we say, this is mine, I am feeling this, I'm feeling that, we just continue to create more chemicals that flood the body. And so what we do then is create an even more intense feeling around that, whatever it was that we were noticing before. And so then we become the feeling. Once we've become the feeling, once we've personalised with that feeling, then it's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to step outside it and be objective about that particular feeling. But if we understood that it was simply the body picking up and trans, uh, translating information, but the information as such was not ours, it's simply how the body, this interface that we have between spirit and matter translates information but it isn't who we are it is not our information it's just the body doing what the body does we still notice all of these phenomena we still notice all of the feelings but we stop giving them energy and this is the key we practice noticing and it's no good waiting until you're feeling overwhelmed before you decide to practice huh? you're too late you're lost in a massive chemical cocktail, uh, trying to sort it all out, very, very difficult. So you really need to practice this before the feeling of overwhelmed takes over. And so what I would suggest is that you notice, spend a few moments here and there, you know, two or three times a day, perhaps more if you can, but certainly develop this into more if you find it's working for you to notice what's going on in the here and now, in the body. And when there's a change in what you're feeling or what you're noticing, essentially you've had a subtle or a dramatic shift in the chemical composition of the body. And that's all it is. A change in the chemicals produced by the body as a result of a certain memory, a certain stimulus. The stimulus could be a piece of music, a person, a face, sound of someone singing, the sound of laughter, a colour, a flower, perfume, all sorts of things can trigger off various reactions in the body. And as you start to notice these things, these changes, you can say, well, this change is such and such, this feels like such and such. Try not to say, I am, because the, the, the act of saying I am will continue to create more and more chemicals, okay? Try and notice the feeling. Acknowledge the feeling. This is the feeling of. It's okay. You know, it's not going to kill me. Just notice the feeling. And when you first start practicing, you probably want to use something to help distract you. Uh, you know, get, a, get a drink, go outside, look at the clouds, look at the wind in the leaves of the trees, listen to the birds. Whatever it takes to snap out of it. Don't continue to give energy to these thought patterns or feelings. Simply acknowledge them. Change your mind as quickly as you can and then relax and notice what else is going on in the body. Continued practice will change the chemical construction of the cell by reducing the number of receptor sites available on the cell for a particular feeling. And of course, when the receptor sites aren't there, the feeling is not going to have such an intense impact upon us. The body is going to overcome its addiction to these old chemicals. 
and start to regenerate itself in a much more clear and balanced way. The more clear and balanced the body can generate, then of course the less likelihood there is of you experiencing this feeling of overwhelm. A lot more information on this on, on the website, of course, this, this is a very brief introduction, just to see if this interests you, to see if you can do something with this to help yourself. Take a look at the website, you never know, this could be something that really, really helps you. Thanks for watching and until the next time, be well and be happy.